square the bottom, and away we go. Okay, sweet. So I foiled the top, this, these first two. That's 2x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 4. Yeah, I did. Okay. Then minus x squared and plus 2x. So I distributed the minus. It's the numbers, isn't it? It's the numbers that I, mess us up. I only have one number. So x squared, 2x is cancel, you get plus 4x minus 4 over x plus 2 squared. If that was x, no, just kidding. That's it. Everybody okay? Huh? No? Okay. Alrighty then. Let's do this one. This one has a trig function in it. So g prime of x. Low. D high. What's the derivative of tangent? D high minus high D low, which is just one. Square the bottom and away we go. Okay, distributing the secant squared. It's x secant squared x plus 2 secant squared x minus tangent x over x plus 2 squared. Not pretty, but no. that's it. Do you want to do the next one? What? Yeah? Z, not this one, the next one. The derivative uh huh. Uh, would be yes. Yes. The derivative of one minus cosine of theta is because derivative of one is zero. Derivative of cosine is negative sine, but there's already a negative there, so that's why yes, it would be sine. Okay, cool. So the derivative of one minus cosine of theta is sine of theta. And I will put the answer here. See if you can get there. If not, please don't erase everything because, you know, chances are you will need a new space for this one. Someone screamed or sneezing. That was Mr. Dupuis sneezing. That is insane. He's got a very loud sneeze. Yeah. It scared me to death the first few times. Now I'm just kind of used to it. Should be 
it helps with that. It's kind of weird getting from there to here, BT dubs. Yeah. I'm going to start going over it just in case we have some more time. So H prime theta, low D high minus high D low square the bottom. Okay, that's a big step. Okay, now we distribute the cosine of theta. So cosine of theta minus cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. Yes, you can. If I factor out a negative one, it becomes a positive cos or sorry, a negative cosine theta, then a positive cosine squared theta, then a positive sine squared theta. And the whole purpose of doing that is, of course, those two right there is just one. So it becomes negative 1 times 1 minus cosine of theta. I just put the 1 in front so it would match the 1 on the bottom. Did I lose anybody there? Yep, 1 minus cosine of theta, one of those cancel. End up with negative one over one minus cosine of theta. Yay! All right. Uh, to do a problem like this you would need to simplify the top first. Well, the whole thing, really. Did you have to butterfly? I would, yes, I would butterfly the top. So I would make it 3x minus 1 over x. Then you can keep change flip. We get 3x minus 1 over x squared minus 5x. So this is what we're taking the derivative of. It is. What did I get minus? Let's just see it if you're awake. Evidently I am not. And then we do low d high minus high d low, we'll square the bottom, and away we go. Uh, your final answer, I'm going to write it down for you. Well, actually, change that. This one. Ah, there we go. Square. Okay. Alrighty. Have a good long weekend. I
will post an assignment tomorrow, but it's going to be work on yesterday's homework. Okay, cool. So, but make sure you get online and, you know, uh, do bell work. Oh, good stuff.